Now in this video, let's take a look at how you can fix the website not loading on your iPhone and let's get into it. So naturally at first, make sure you check out your connection situation like I'm currently connected to a Wi-Fi network, but as you can see, it's a public network. So you also want to make sure that perhaps you need to sign in, right? Or you can just forget the network and reconnect again to establish a fresh connection. Same thing for cellular data. You need to have that set up. So that's like the first step, of course, the first thing to pay attention to. Outside of that, you can check out and, you know, manage your Safari settings. So Inside of the main settings, go to apps and look for Safari where you have the ability to clear history and website data. So not only history, but all of the website cache data and everything. Just choose the time frame and you can clear it like that. This might make it more likely that the website will actually be functional. Right. There are also some other things you can do as we are already in the, the settings. So make sure you are on the main page, go to general and then click on transfer or reset iPhone. Tapping on reset, it gives you the ability to reset a network settings, which keep in mind that it will forget all of your Wi-Fi passwords and all of that. But it might be a good step to establish or just, you know, refresh all of the connections and networks. Other than that, keep in mind that there might be some other features. For example, if you are the iCloud Plus uh, user, right, if you pay for it, there is a feature called Private Relay. And uh, this is like an internet privacy service which hides your IP address from websites. And if you have that turned on, some websites may not work properly. So just keep that in mind. It might actually be one of the reasons your website isn't loading, but I'm not sure how likely that is. Just know about this feature. And yeah, this is mostly the stuff that you need to know about. Outside of this like main thing, you know, all of the settings which I've shown you, I would recommend you to check out if the same website works, but through a different web browser. So you can check out, for example, the Google Chrome and look up the very same website to see if the fault is on your side or on their end. But that's going to be about it. Let me know what you think. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you later in the future tutorials.